There is a lot of noise out there when it comes to binge eating. A lot of things that you shouldn't listen to because it just has no basis in reality. So let's talk here about what are some of the myths and misconceptions around binge eating. My name is Joe and I am the world's foremost authority on binge eating. And how do I know that? Because I did it every day for about 20 years and I solved it. So that puts me right up there with the experts. So let's get into this. Let's go. The biggest misconception about binge eating, I would say, is that binge eating is a mental health disorder. And it's convenient to put it there, but is it really? Is it really? When I looked into binge eating and I was told it was a mental health disorder, when I looked at all the characteristics that came with binge eating, like low self-esteem, anxiety, all or nothing thinking, I found that loads of people had that who don't binge eat. And for me, for a causation to be valid, it must be very, very tight in that this type of person thinks this way and they definitely binge eat. Where I find many people who think that way or have that behavior, have that, that type of psychology, don't binge eat. So you can't lay it down to your psychology. It has nothing, I rephrase that. It has something to do with your psychology, but not what you're told it is. What you're told is that you have this warped psychology that makes you eat food. No you have a psych psycho psychology that makes the stimulation that the food that you eat seem more precious. We spoke about that in the previous video. That is where the psychology comes into, how it gives value to the stimulation that overeating large amounts of food gives you. The next myth that I wanna talk about is people often end up thinking of binge eating as just overeating particularly binge eaters. I, I actually beat binge eating probably 10 years ago, right? But I carried on calling it binge eating, no matter what I ate. I ate a little bit of extra of this, oh, I just had a binge. Oh, I had a little bit of that, I just had a binge. No, you didn't. Binging is when you eat large amounts of food, more than a normal person within a short amount of time, repeatedly, right? That is not the same as having an extra sandwich. So be mindful of your language when you're describing what is a binge and what is not? Because that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to become free. Another real big misconception is that binge eating is only found in women. This is not the case and it causes a lot of aggravation for guys. When I first started trying to find treatment for binge eating, I would call up centers, residential centers, places I could go to, and I would say, sorry, we only have space for women. And it makes you feel like, excuse me for saying this, but it makes you feel like, have I got a women's disease? But it's not that. It just, that's what society makes you feel like. But all it is, is guys tend to talk about it less, or, or we tend to live in a way it's more susceptible. Remember when I talked about the three factors? In society, it's more acceptable for a guy to eat large amounts of food than it is for a woman in public, in, in at socializing, at work, right? It's also, it, not so much now, but it used to be more acceptable for men to be overweight. So if you can eat more in public and you, it's okay for you to be overweight, you're, you're binge eating, you're just not calling it that. So that's the difference there. And the last big misconception that we're gonna talk about today is that binge eating is a result of a lack of control. This is absolutely not true. You can have very robust control mechanisms and still binge eat because it, it isn't within your, um, your will to control. It is more of a survival mechanism that's gone awry. So it's like if a car's driving towards you, you jump out of the way. Everything in your body tells you to jump. Not jumping is not a lack of control, right? Jumping is not a lack of control. Jumping is a response, right? So that is what drives the binge eating. It is a knee-jerk response. So it's outside the realm of willpower because you're not supposed to be able to control these things using willpower because they're survival mechanisms. If you could survive your, your, your if you could control your survival mechanisms, you wouldn't live because you wouldn't jump out of the way of the car or avoid that unusual looking person over there. You would just walk all into all these issues. So it's not about self-control, it's about wisdom. It's about rewiring your mind so that you see food differently and you see your relationship with it differently. So the whole thing 
like a stack of cards becomes unwound. So there's just a few of the myths and misconceptions that you have around binge eating. Don't listen to them. We will come back to this topic on a regular basis because it's very good to get clear what does drive binge eating and how you can solve it in your own life. And don't forget to watch our previous video, The Three Pillars of Binge Eating. Biology, Sociology and Psychology. Check that out in the link on this screen and I will see you in the next video.